Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy K Rod 7435, repping out for the 518. We got ourselves another sports talk today. I figured, uh, why not get down to business? Ah, uh, fuck. My boy Derek Rose, he got injured. He had a torn meniscus. I felt like it, like this is like by far one of the worst things to be a Bulls slash you know New York Knicks fan. Um, what's the future for Derrick Rose? What do I see out of him? What can I actually try to expect from D Rose in the later coming seasons? I don't want to say this, and a lot of people they try to say this as if they're a hater or you know people who are right, which I could be on the leaning you know leaning point you know decision if I was Derrick Rose um, is to uh, retire. You know, don't try to give as much power out of your legs even though derrick rose he he's been doing a pretty good fucking season run before he gets hurt but um no like i don't think that's something that d rose would ever want to do and then again um uh give me one second and then again uh basically d rose he has a lot of capabilities in which you can't even try to basically say that derrick rose can ever you know, try to fuck himself over because, you know, when you really think about it, you know, Derrick Rose has came back from two, two fucking injuries. I mean, two fucking injuries. First one, um, you know, being a, uh, torn, um, ACL, which that was fucking painful to even, you know, try to understand as a Bulls fan, like that he, he, he could have been done. And most people that suffer from um from a uh, torn uh, torn um ACL injuries like uh, they don't come back as you know perfect, and that you know really takes in like a lot of like uh practicing on your jump shot better on you know recovering through you know a lot of physical treatment and you know like literally Derrick Rose he had that capability coming back in two, in, in a 2012 or 2013 and then this is what pisses me off out of like a lot of Miami Heat fans they say to me and then all of like the Bulls community you know along with other teams like oh you know nigga D Rose you know you know he was cleared by like the doctor to come back and play you know right up against like the Miami Heat but no he pussied himself out to not play cuz he knew that he uh, just uh, didn't really want to care for his team and I'm like nigga no if you just got cleared from like your doctor then I would then I would have personally had had to basically had to have been you know trying trying to sit out you know basically for like the whole playoffs because number one you don't want to risk yourself getting hurt once again and number two you would like to try to see how much more progression that your legs can take because you know then again you know at that time frame like uh, LeBron was at his best but if we could try to hypothetically say what if Rose played up basically right up against like the Miami Heat at that time frame, then yes, I would definitely say he could have probably given uh, LeBron James, you know, a, a, he would have given LeBron James a very difficult time, you know, right under like the rim and right over the rim. Because when you think about it, his three-point jump shot was still good. And, you know, we're talking like two years later. So, you know, this isn't 2011. This is more like 2013, uh, like... Uh, 2012 leaving like leading into 2013 because uh back in 2013 you know the like the uh, Miami Heat had like uh basically basically led their best you know basketball season and you know like uh, with the uh, Bulls being at I want to say fourth or fifth or something like that you know like the Nate Robinson year so you know you know we're talking about a you know a a crappy team that didn't really have too much you know to give in which Joe Kim he was leading that team so you know, this is what pisses me off. If you are a big man and you are dropping over 20 fucking plus points and getting, you know, you know, well up to 10, 10 to 15 rebounds, then I would definitely, you know, give you let the defensive player help with the year. But then again, you know, blocks too. You know, I think Joakim has proved himself to become a good player. But then after that, no, he just basically fucked up because, you know, Derrick Rose was not with him. And like, you know, like uh, literally... You know, this is what, you know, a lot of people, including Skip Bayless, along with along with Stephen A. Smith, to say that, oh, you know, that the Chicago Bulls, they are not better, 
you know, without D. Rose. No, they are better without D. Rose. But then again, you're not going to just say Derrick Rose had to have been, you know, leaving Chicago, you know, for the better of the, like, the team. No. Number one, you know, like, like I like to put a lot of blame onto Fred. Oh, oh shit. Fred Hoiberg and then fucking Tom Thibodeau, you know. You know, with Tom Thibodeau, he was a, he was a great coach, but you should have never put out Derrick Rose, you know, for that many minutes. You know, I feel like that's the main reason what made his legs come in to a crazy, you know, history of fucking, um, like, basically, basically, like, the main reason why his legs basically gave out. And that's why he's been suffering more, uh, basketball, um, you know, game, you know, like, occurring, like, um, injuries. Because when you really think about it, Derrick Rose had a lot of potential to bring himself to that level and you know then again no you know he basically probably just knew deep down like no this is not helping me out because i never really um expected myself to really be you know getting hurt once again and i mean like personally this is how i can connect his story with my story because i used to wrestle back in high school and i had surgery back in 2015 and i knew you know by understanding derrick rose's way of you know bouncing back when literally you've been like literally you got fucking injured three fucking times and like legit i wouldn't be surprised if he came back and bounced back once again but then if derrick rose wants to you know, basically hang it up and do what he has to do, then, you know, like, um, I will say, you know, coming from at the bottom of my heart that I have been a good fan to him, I will always love him, no homo, but, um, no, you know, Derrick Rose, you know, you are by far one of the best players ever, you've taught me how to get back up, you know, whenever you get hurt, you know, f- from, you know, like, like the uh, physicality of what you once were, into a brand new person but you're not the same person anymore so it's technically playing jordan's you know mindset to say hey you know what because i did get fucking hurt but i didn't give a fuck about that you know i actually worked my ass off and i pulled off a half like you know ah shit half um like um oscar robertson like along with a uh, bernard king or no no bernard king came before jordan but i mean you know if we want to talk about a pre-legacy before michael jordan ah uh, shit oscar robinson mixed with maybe like a little bit of um shit like i don't know maybe julius um uh, julius uh, like um irving because he was a ball hog so jordan fits into that category and technically jordan he could have been a really he could have been a very good street baller if you guys don't know like the whole story of of, of michael jordan being a street baller you, please look that up he he can dominate niggas like he no put jordan in it, it no put put michael jordan within like um a uh basically a um and one street ball along with you know today's time he would he would murder us don't don't ever come up to him that that is literally 1v1 he's just beating you every fucking day and and yes he will dunk over you and make sure that your fucking ankles are broken but no uh we're not talking about that we're gonna conclude this up with d rose like what is what is like the main plan if derrick rose gets hurt once again should i say that he needs to hang it up me personally, no. I think Derrick Rose, he just had like a really bad fuck up, you know, within his knees. And, you know, that shit happens, man. You know, like, I like, you know, you can, you can say the same thing, you know, with girls too. You know, like a lot of girls that have been very good um, athletes have, have broken, you know, like a ton of their body parts. And, you know, like uh, that shit ain't pretty, dude. Like, you know, like you tend to realize like as you as a basketball player, you go through, like, a lot, and, you know, like, you know mentally and physically, like, that shit fucking hurts, but if you can perceive and know that you can fight through pain, and you never felt anything that bad, and you let it come through, and you know that you're coming back, you know, like, a lot better, then I would say that you are a champion, like, um, at your finest, and I think, you know, when Derrick Rose finally quits, will I say you know, that, oh, wow, like, is this really what I wanted out of him? Like, did I really think that he was just going to get one MVP and then that's it, no rings? Well, you know, you know, like, if it has to go down that way, look, Charles Barkley, he proved to the NBA of how good he is. And they basically look, just like, look at where he is, you know, he's doing good. And I mean, 
with Derrick Rose, you know, like, I don't mind him being like Charles Barkley, you know, like, because at least I can see, you know, a personific, or basically, no, not, not a personification, but a perception of Rose having his ring through, you know, like, the USA, like, Olympics, and I mean, Rose had a good, you know, uh, redemption year, you know, you know, through his uh, 2015 season, so I would say that Derrick Rose, he he has brought back his his regular his, like like um his original shadow of what he once was, you know, um basically six years ago, and I would not be surprised if Derrick Rose did it one more time. But then again, you know, you can't just try to think about it in like a video game, which this is what I'm going to end in like the final portion of of this uh, vid. But um, Derrick Rose was predicted to face LeBron James in the 2014 NBA Finals because, or no, 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 not 2014, fuck that. No, like, it was to technically be, you know, like the, basically the um, 2000, I want to say the 2019 or 2020 NBA Finals. And what happened, or, or no, 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 like, not the Finals, like the um, NBA Eastern Conference Finals. So... What happened is that LeBron James, he comes into contact and facing Derrick Rose. LeBron James, he's like in his like late 30s and Derrick Rose is like, he's probably 30, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Derrick Rose is, is in like the 30 year old version of him. And it was basically meant to say that Derrick Rose, he just dominates Chicago and he brings everybody's like, you know, like attention to say, hey, I may have fucked myself up, you know, plenty of times, but here I am. So I think that, you know, if Derrick Rose were to come back to Chicago and actually take it slow with better teammates that can do more work, then I'd say that is the best way to do to sustain a better basketball team. But then again, if Derrick Rose want, uh, basically, if Derrick Rose can provide to any other team, then I wouldn't mind seeing him play for a uh, winning team. You know, like, like if anything, if Rose really wants to just sit it out, and actually just just basically win a ring probably go to san antonio play with Kawhi leonard which i would definitely like to see that like that would never be a problem and then he would have less time to do all of like the things that he would want to do to impress but no um that's basically how i see it i definitely love Derrick rose i definitely want him back in chicago but um you know hey if he lights it up back in new york perfect you know, have like a good star point, point, guard, point guard with them. Be sure to, to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I am out. Peace.